Good morning from Luang Prabang. Look at the view this morning. So, early start and heading to Ponsaban. This is the first lineup that I've seen, but apparently a couple of weeks ago, you could wait up to two hours, they said. But anyways, heading to Ponsaban. Part of this rail line, we're gonna see some of it until I turn off to Ponsaban. But like I said, they spared no expense to build this. But in the process, <laughs> they destroyed the roads with the heavy trucks. You'd think they would fix the roads, but no. People say I carry too much luggage. <laughs> He's gonna lose his basket. about you but that's a pretty nice view people share the road here I mean there's not much else you can walk on so yeah they have to be very careful cameras that can never capture spectacular scenery like this I wish I could talk to the guys that put in those telephone poles. They always put them on the wrong side. Blocking my views. Oi, look at that. Well, we'll give you a little progress report here. Where the road straightens up a little bit. And I left Luang Prabang an hour ago. And I'm just covered 50 kilometers or 30 miles. That's how twisty this road is, and it's dry, so the grip is good, but in the rain, definitely it would even be slower. Rail line going through. The amount of money, well, unbelievable. So you tunnel there, and it just basically there's hundreds of tunnels going down to Vientiane. These are watering stations or waypoints where you can load up with water. You can see the tanks over there. And uh, yeah, so you can spread nice, unfortunately it doesn't clean the road. Oh my God, look at the size of that crater. Driving through another village. And basic life kids are always waving the roads going up over there according to my GPS oh my god look at that I have to stop saying that I apologize I'll try to come up with something better. There's another word I would use, but I cannot use it. So it's Saturday and it's typically market days in a lot of these villages. As I left Luang Prabang this morning, it was the same thing people were setting up. Yeah, a bit of technical issue on there. Those two front tires are supposed to be turning the same way. One's not.
Time for some fuel. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be difficult, no pumps. <laughs> Local speed bump. Okay, I guess I better let this guy go. sure what happened here but I guess it rained Wow a lot of water approximately 45 kilometers from Pansaban. There we have it, UNESCO World Heritage Site. So if you've not been to Pansaban and the Plain of Jars, you definitely should make a point of it to come and check it out. Been here before, but I haven't been to this site before, so it should be very, very interesting. So this is site number two. So these are huge pieces of rock. We're talking thousands of years ago. As you can see, they are like jars, they're all hollowed out. And some of them were obviously damaged during the war. You know, different sizes and stuff, it's incredible. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is interesting, this flat rock. It's got a nub on it. Probably we used a cover or something. Part of the Ho Chi Minh Trail used to come through here. And that's why it was the most heavily bombed part of the country ever. That may change soon, but there's enough metal in the ground here and bombs and stuff that they're still looking for. Here, this is talking about this stone disc. I'll put some links in the description.
obviously most of these are at the top of the hills. But you can see other ones that are rolled down or got blown up, but definitely very unique. So this is it. I'm not sure. I'll do some research. It's starting to sprinkle rain. So I'll be coming at, getting out of Dodge here pretty quick. It was built during the colonial French period and served as an office and residence to make money. And um, during the first Indochina War, the, the bombing here in 1953 destroyed the war. Basically, that's when uh, the Vietnamese kicked the French out of Vietnam and uh, the Battle of Dien Bien Phu. And uh, yeah, that was their exit. And so when they left Vietnam, they actually had to leave Cambodia and Laos at the same time because they had no more presence here and they got their asses whooped. You can see here, supplies that were being prepared in 1953. So this, it got bombed. The air is still running damn good, that's all I can say. A little bit dirty, but I'm a dirty boy. Well, good morning from Cranky Cafe and Bar. And uh, I ordered breakfast here, and I just met Cranky, the owner, and uh, check out this breakfast. Fresh fruit, eggs, baguette, meat, and a coffee for almost free. 60,000 kip is, I'll figure it out later, but it's pretty damn cheap. So they have a nice little coffee shop open at seven o'clock in the morning. And they have another shop that sells wine and all kinds of other goodies. So if you are in Ponsavon, I'll probably have dinner here tonight. If you're in Ponsavon, definitely check this place out. 